Hello everyone, and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. So last episode, we ended up getting a bunch of so our products sold. We sold a bunch of our furniture, a bunch of our planks. We ended up selling off all our... All our... We sold our old sprayer off, our side dresser, and our... I'm trying to think. The crop sensor off. And we ended up taking the money we made from the furniture and all the trade-ins and we ended up buying ourselves our our own self-propelled sprayer finally so we're set there so we ended up getting rid of like three pieces of equipment to just get just upgrade to one piece which is kind of a nice feeling of less less maintenance to worry about and such on all that stuff and as of right now we also bail raked and bailed all the hay from last last episode as well as you can see we're still in the process of picking it up today um, Right now, my goal, my last few goals for the, before this day is over, is to hopefully, we're gonna get this all tilled under, and then we're gonna do get some sampling done, and then I think we're gonna have to run in town to buy a bunch of lime. To be honest with you, I don't think we have enough. I'm almost certain we don't have enough because I've been trying to steadily lime everything since I, since the last time we expanded our ground. We, I may have overdid it with buying lime, so I'm pretty sure I'll end up doing that again here when we get get this field sampled um, if we do have some time at the end of the end of the, towards the end of the day I might hook up the Kubota to the slurry tanker and haul at least one little slurry out here I know for sure I think this big field will it'll either be well or maybe the smaller field I think it'll be the smaller of the two fields this field here is kind of the bigger one I'm saying of this property now I'm planning to put slurry on the field and I'm gonna plant I'm either planning to drill canola in it when we get get to that point for next year or we're gonna put maybe winter wheat or barley down otherwise if we don't do that the field that I'll be split spreading the sur slurry on for sure will definitely be a cornfield for next year but I'm right now I'm trying to expand the farms oh the variety of crops we're growing and I think this year yet yeah, I'm gonna try and put up another bin at the main farm and I know last episode I was talking about putting up maybe another bin somewhere else and maybe maybe in the next year or so probably next two years because I'm still planning on buying another type of production facility and I kind of want to put that a little bit further off our property away from our property kind of like how we have the sawmill right now so I'm trying to decide what I want to go with I'm trying to I kind of want to get it I was kind of thinking of putting up a grain mill to be honest with you we can start making flour and then eventually we can expand ourselves into other businesses once we once we get enough flour production going and such so it's it's one of those things i haven't fully thought through but i do know that's the direction i want to go to next before i start worrying about getting another type of livestock because i think last time last episode i spoke a little bit how i i know i got like a big chicken barn mod somewhere and i don't i think that would be a good idea for this series but and then that way we'd be able to put in winter wheat and such like that. So start putting in a little more variety of crops and that we can feed into our livestock, so to speak. But as of right now, that's kind of what we got planned for the day Day here. I kind of went on quite a bit on last episode about some of my experiences. So I kind of, I kind of am running out of a few things to talk about for today's episode. I'm... I'm hoping that the sorghum will pay off for the most part for us, but we 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 shall see for this series because I think the last time we did sorghum was when when we very first started this series. To be honest with you, and I think the only reason I planted sorghum was just because we had at the, what I think at the time I don't think we had any old storage, so to speak. I think the only storage we had is whatever we could fit on the wagon at the time, if I remember right. It's kind of crazy to think about how far we've we've come in this series. I think last time I checked, I think I had about 130 hours on this map so far. I'm pretty sure this is like episode 81 that we're recording right now. And it feels like we've we've come a long ways, but it feels like we have so far to go in this series, which is kind of exciting for me, you know. I mean, it, we still keep we're still moving forward and making upgrades, but it feels like it's. It's still taking us a good amount of time here. But I think we'll jump into the time lapse here. That's what we got planned for the day. So we'll see you guys towards the end of this.
my body, move with my body. All right, everyone. I think this is where we're gonna start wrapping up today's episode. We got, we got everything feel lined and such and ready to go. And looks like the solo typings aren't too bad for these fields, which is good news for us. Uh, the plan is for now, I'm gonna finish off at least this one load of tank slurry here, just so we can get it empty. And when we get back to the yard, we can it'll be ready to go for the next month and such. I just I just want to try at least get the headlands done with this load, and if we need to hire a helper, we can. But if I remember right, the last time I hired a helper, they continued to keep working even at, even after the tank was empty, which which is not something that I'm real happy about, but hopefully it was just a fluke type thing. But like I said, we're going to at least get the headlands done tonight before we call it a full day here. Just so that way we're, like I said, we're ready to go. Because I think when we go to do our, next month when we get our sorghum, when we start our sorghum harvest and such and start working that ground, I think this is, we're just going to do plan on doing the same thing. Just We're going to actually inject all the manure into the ground, and then then we'll drill our canola for next season down. And I th this is the field where we're going to put the canola down as well. So we'll have at least four fields of canola next year, which will be, will be something different for us to harvest as well. So that that's that'll be kind of an exciting thing for us as well to get just to be finally expanding our more of our crops more more variety of crops we're planting so to speak here oh gotta swing over a little bit more there we go but anyways like i said this is where we'll start start wrapping up today's episode if you enjoyed today's episode please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're enjoying the content please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series above all else i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and most of all thanks for watching